What's up guys, Matt here. I'm back at the temporary shop here with the Golf R. Uh, if you caught my last video, you know we started the 60,000 mile recommended maintenance on this Mark VI Golf R. We accomplished all the inspections, we topped up all the fluids, rotated the tires, and we changed the oil, but we still have a couple other jobs to do. So in this video, I'm gonna detail out how to change the spark plugs on this Mark VI Volkswagen Golf R. Huge shout out to ECS Tuning for providing the 60,000 mile service kit. As always, the links are in the description of this video, and let's get into it. All right, so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to check the gap on these spark plugs. Just wanna be really careful when you're checking the gap on here because the ignition tip right here is iridium so it's very very brittle so you want to make sure that you stay on the ground strap and you're actually moving that and not the ignition tip so what what gap are we going to use well it's recommended for a stock engine to run about 30 thou 30 thousandths of an inch but because the golf r's have ko4 turbos and this is running a stage two plus tune i'm going to reduce that gap a little bit uh to uh, 28 thousandths of an inch and we'll see how that runs we may have to adjust it later so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a, uh, a gap measuring device each one of these pieces of metal has a thickness to it or a caliper and basically you just find two or three that will add up to your desired gap and you can check it like this and see this barely fits in there so you're gonna to want to do that on all four of your spark plugs and then we can get ready to remove the old spark plugs so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is take this clip off of all the coil packs and the lines running into the coil packs are all connected with this hard case. You're going to need to disconnect each clip first before pulling the whole assembly back. So you just get in here with a little screwdriver, pull this back like, like so. So now that all of the clips are disconnected, you can pull this whole assembly back and get that out of the way. Now we're gonna have to pull these coil packs up out of here. You're gonna wanna try to get them out with even pressure. Uh, try to pull them out from the front and the back. There you go. I repeat that for the remaining three coil packs. Well, looks like we're gonna need to replace coil packs pretty soon. So now we're gonna to have to remove the old spark plugs. Yeah, pretty worn. They don't look terrible. So now we're gonna put this in our spark plug wrench and we're going to Tighten this up by hand first. Do not want to cross thread the spark plugs. So now I'm gonna go run and grab a torque wrench. Oh, and I did forget to mention, we really should put some dielectric grease up around the top half of this plug. The reason you want to do that is to uh, seal moisture from getting between the coil pack and the spark plug, and also to avoid any arcing. Uh, I don't have dielectric grease, so I'm gonna have to go to a parts store, get that, take all these back out, 
and reinstall them. But for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna continue on with the install. So you're gonna want to torque these to 25 newton meters or 18 foot pounds, same thing, different units of measurement. So I'm gonna use foot pounds, where are we at right now? This is 10, 20, So that's all you want to do. Basically, you're just crushing the crush washer. So let's repeat that for all the rest of them. All right, so now that we have the new spark plugs in and they are torqued to spec, we can replace the coil packs by simply pushing them down until they click on top of the spark plug. So now that we've got that in, we can slide this clip back and clip each one of them in place. And that should be it. Let's start it up and see what happens. So there it is, the spark plugs are in. Like I said, I am gonna have to go back in there and put some dielectric grease on those plugs to avoid moisture getting in between the coil pack and the plug and to avoid arc. So uh, big thanks to ECS Tuning for providing this 60,000 mile service kit. Like I said, links in the description. If you do click on that link and then you buy anything from ECS Tuning, really, really helps fund these projects on my Volkswagens and Audis, helps me continue to provide quality content and improve my quality. So uh, go check those links out. In the meantime, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Thumbs up if you liked the video. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Make sure you hit the little bell icon so that you are notified every time I post a video. We still have a couple more installs to complete the 60,000 mile maintenance, the cabin pollen filter and the fuel filter. Those are gonna be detailed in their own videos following this video. Thanks to ECS Tuning for the parts, thanks to you for watching, and I'll see you next time.